Hey Blake, what do you call a sad cup of coffee? What's that, Nick? A depresso. Yeah, that's a <laughs> but with that being said, we're our next episode of Heroes Hot Spots. We're at Foxtail Coffee, and we promise there is no sad coffee here. Let's go check it out. Good, how are you? I'm gonna get a large iced um, caramel latte with caramel drizzle. And can I get oat milk instead of whole milk? What would you like, sir? Let's go with that. Hey guys, this is Nick with Hero Roofing, and welcome to another episode of Heroes Hot Spots. Today I'm joined by Miss Madison, um, who is one of the, I guess, the main manager, right? Yes. At uh, Foxtail Coffee. We're at the location in Noonan. Um, so first of all, Miss Madison, you guys have two locations? Yes, we have Noonan, and we just opened Peachtree City. Okay, and how long have you been a part of Foxtail Coffee? I have worked for Foxtail for two years. Okay, and so what is your role and position? Um, I'm in charge of all of our training. Um, I'm part of the hiring process um, and just kind of making sure that everything goes smoothly, washing over everything, all that good stuff. You keep it together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I think I was telling you earlier, I love coffee. Uh, and my wife, me and my wife really love coffee. And uh, me and her kind of found you, found you guys about, a, I think, come on a year now. And uh, the job, like I said, you've been for two. And my wife has an espresso machine. I don't know if you've heard of those. We have yeah. one at the office now. At, and uh, once she started making me, she's gotten real crafty with coffee. Once she started making me like espresso, like she'll make a, a latte like this. I quit. I couldn't drink some of the. I won't name businesses. I was like, I can't. Like it just didn't taste good anymore. Yeah. I, I couldn't drink coffee outside of my house. So I'd just have to come home and have her make it for me. So when yeah. we found you guys, you're, this is the only coffee that's like that level where I'm like I'm comfortable drinking it without. without Thank you. We appreciate that so, so much. What do, what do you guys think goes into such uh, a great quality cup of coffee? Foxtail is very good about upholding our standards for our coffee beans, which is really the base of all your coffee, which is so important, which I feel like a lot of uh, bigger companies will kind of bypass just because they don't want to take that time, but it's actually so important. Um, all of our coffee beans are organic, um, ethically sourced, sustainable farming. Um, we make sure all of our farmers are paid a livable wage. Um, and really it's our bean, the heart of our coffee, that makes it so good. Um, and that's why you can, we sell all of our beans, whole, whole bean in the bag. You can buy it, take it home, um, and honestly make just as good coffee as you can get in store, which I really appreciate. So here at Fox Deli, you guys, the coffee, you're, the drinks you're making are actually y'all's coffee. Yes. It's not like it's a coffee shop where you're bringing in coffee. Yeah, all of our coffee are. beans are roasted in Winter Park. Uh, that's our home store. It was founded in 2016. Okay. Um, and actually, if you go into that store, you can see them roasting the beans there. And then it's overnighted to us. Um, so it's all freshly roasted. Um, and it's just really great coffee. Yeah, I agree. So Foxtel is, you said it's a franchise? Yes. Mm -hmm. and so uh, Noonan and Sharpsburg is, a, or, I'm sorry, Noonan and Peachtree City is the same owners? Yes, Noonan and Peachtree City have the same owners. We just had another franchisee open one in Buckhead, and he's okay. also opening one in Midtown next March. Um, and I believe there's six other ones opening in Atlanta as well. You guys are, from 2016, you guys are blowing up. Yeah, we have 57 stores right now. 57? 57. Wow, I did not know that. That's yeah. very cool. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, you, I didn't even know it was like something from Florida until you walk, you know, you walk in, look at the logo. Um, we just thought it was a great addition to Catalina and Peachtree yeah. City. Um, and I truly enjoy it. This is my favorite drink. It's the, the caramel ice latte. What kind of milk? Oat milk. Yeah, good yeah, choice. With caramel drizzle. And uh, she was, just has, she said three shots of espresso. Mm -hmm. She's like, you can add another one if you need it. And I'm like, I don't think I need another <laughs> it, one. It's pretty strong. So, yeah, it's very it's, it's strong, but it's it's good flavor. It's good, it's, yeah. Um, you guys got really good black coffee too. You know, mm -hmm. people just want a nice cup of hot coffee. It's, this is a great place. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is definitely our Cafe Con Leche. Um, it is a latte. We mix condensed milk into the espresso. Okay. They are so good. It's lightly sweet, extra creamy. Um, it's definitely probably one of our best sellers as well. Uh, second and kind of tied would be our cold brew. It's our highest level of caffeine. 
Um, we make it in-house. We also bottle it and sell it by the half gallon as well. Um, we brew it in-house, bottle it here, and then you get to take it home and have our cold brew at home, which is another amazing option. Um, and then if you bring that back, you actually get 20% off of the next one that you get. Oh, wow, so we do have that kind of like reward system for the cold brew, which is really nice. Um, but our cold brew is just really smooth. We do nitro cold brew, so it's infused with the nitrogen, um, which kind of helps increase the caffeine levels a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, definitely our cafe con leche and our cold brew are my two. You said cold brew is the high, uh, highest, highest caffeine. level of caffeine, yeah. Blake, me and Blake just walked in, that's what he, he, does, he's, he doesn't need any more caffeine. Yeah. He's already wired. <laughs> So that's, that's good to hear. Um, that's very cool. So the cool, what's the, um, I would say the unique one about the Peach Tree location, you guys have a drive through as well. Yes, Peach Tree City does have a drive through and we actually just started serving alcohol this week there cool. as well. Yes. So not we through have, the drive through there, right? No, not I saw, through the drive through I saw on the sign, it says you gotta go inside now. Yeah, but we do, and we're working uh, with Blind Creek, which is another great local business, right. um, to have some of their beers in. Um, so yeah, so the Peach Tree City one has the drive through and alcohol, so. Really cool. Very neat, but not, but not together. <laughs> not, not together. Make sure, make sure those Peachtree City yeah. on the golf carts know you can't go through on the golf cart and get a beer. You gotta go inside. <laughs> they're, they're, they're try it, trust me. Um, that's, that's very cool, very unique. Um, I don't know if I have any other questions about it. What are, what are the hours? The um, we're are open open seven days a week, 6 a.m. Okay. to 6 p.m. Um, one thing I do like to let people know is we do have gluten free options, dairy free options. Um, we're very careful about making sure that there's an option for everyone. Um, the owner has celiac disease, so okay. we take it super serious. Um, so we have those non-dairy options and those gluten-free options that people can't find everywhere. Uh, yeah, I understand. I respect that a lot too. My daughter has a soy allergy. And we yeah. learned that's a very hard allergy. Mm -hmm. So she's like, soy's like an everything. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. You guys have great pastries and food here, breakfast yes. options. Um, I usually get just a blueberry muffin. Like I'm one of the once I find something I like, I just stick yeah. to it. So like this and the blueberry muffins usually my go-to. Um, what's what's one of your favorite pastries or the breakfast items? The cinnamon items? roll donut is. Okay, the that's most, all I got eaten that one before. Yeah, I recommended it. Yeah. They they are so good. I have one every day. Um, we also just got in egg bites, and the egg bites are very delicious. Uh, we have a vegetable one and then a turkey sausage. Nice. Um, those are really good. All of our food is really good. Yeah. <laughs> what I've learned too, and um, I wanted to make sure I said this, what I've, what I've learned about Foxtel Coffee is it's very consistent. Yes. So I could get this drink here today, and I could go to Peachtree City tomorrow and order the same drink, and it'll yes. taste the exact same. Yeah. Other coffees, uh, especially franchise, or I don't know if they're franchises or, or big box coffee places that you can go through a drive through it is different, it's never consistent. Yep. Like it's, it depends who makes it, it's not good. Like it's, I don't know if you're not trained the same. I just feel like you have extremely skilled baristas working for you guys. Yeah. And the consistency is there every time, it's always amazing. Thank you, we so. we do take pride in that because we hear that so often from yeah. customers. Um, so we've worked really hard on honing in on our training and making sure that everybody is doing things the same. So customers don't have to do that because you hear it all the time. Um, yeah. That's probably one of the biggest complaints that I hear from other coffee shops. It's just not consistent, and you don't want to spend seven dollars no, on something, something that you, that you don't like. And like. Then yeah. you, you have a good experience, you go back, and then it's horrible. Yeah. And it's just like, what happened? Yeah. And so, a cup of coffee can change your whole day. So. Yeah. And some of these, some of these coffee places, you have to, you wait in line for that long, like. And you wait in line for 20 minutes and mm -hmm. you finally get coffee that's not good. You're not going to go back around. You're just yeah. like, all right, I'm done. I'm, yeah. I'm and our policy here, too, is if anyone ever gets something that they don't like, we'll make you something that you do like. We really want people. We like to educate the community as well. Like, I love teaching the community about coffee, um, different ways to make your coffee, different brewing methods. I mean, that's really what we like to do here is teach nice. people. Um, so people can always come back and go, hey, I didn't like this. this just this flavor wasn't the right one for me and we'll make something else that they do like. So that is our policy, just because we want you to leave with a $7 drink that you like. Yeah, and I will say, when I'm talking when I, the drive through experience of Peach City, by the way, I don't think I've ever been in a drive through longer, I mean, I don't think I've ever been in longer than five minutes. Yeah. You know, from order to like pay and get my coffee. Mm -hmm. it's, you guys are very efficient in that Yes. Too. Um, so I would say overall, like I've had no issues, no complaints. And anybody watching this video, if you guys haven't been to Fox Hill Coffee, you can come check it out Monday through Sunday. 
yep. from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yep. Uh, if you guys have any issues, you can ask for Miss Mass. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Well guys, thanks for joining us for another episode of Heroes Hot Spots here at Foxtel Coffee. Just remember they got two locations here around us, the one in Noonan and Thomas Crossroads, and the other one in Peachtree City in front of Walmart that has the drive through And they also have this nice coffee trailer right behind us that you can bring out to weddings or corporate events or wherever you need a coffee bar. Also, they have a nice app. You can download the Foxtel Coffee app. You get points every time you visit. You can order it on the app and pick up as soon as you walk in. It's very convenient. Just today I ordered a free coffee, I earned a free coffee. So it's very cool. So thank you for supporting Hero Roofing and Fox Hill Coffee. And remember, words cannot espresso what you've been to me.